A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 9, verses 7 to 9. Passage taken from the Message Version of the Bible. Here at the ruler heard of these goings on and didn't know what to think. There were people saying, John had come back from the dead, others that Elijah had appeared, still others that some prophets of long ago had shown up. Herod said, But I killed John, took off his head. So who is this that I keep hearing about? Curious, he looked for a chance to see him in action. The Gospel of the Lord Reflections on the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 9, verses 7 to 9. Herod Antipas ruled over Galilee and Perea from 4th BC to 39 AD. Although not strictly speaking a king, Matthew and Mark gave him that title, following popular usage. Herod has recently beheaded John the Baptist, but now he is puzzled because he is being told that Jesus is the same John the Baptist risen from the dead. Herod asks himself who this Jesus is, who is the talk of the town. The person of Jesus often prompted questions of this sort. Who is he? Where does he come from? When Jesus went to the synagogue of Nazareth for the first time, his own native people began to raise similar questions. Where did he learn these things? We know him well. He is the carpenter's son. After Jesus silenced the storm in the sea, Peter and the apostles raised the same question. Who is this that even the heavens and the earth, the wind, the rain and even the storms obey him? Who is he? These questions may be asked out of curiosity. Have we ever asked ourselves this question, Who is Jesus to me? How do I know him? We do know the answers in the Bible, through the sacraments, in prayer. Pope Francis reflects on this passage and says that we come to know a lot about Jesus in the Catechism and we should study it. However, the fact remains that knowing about Jesus through the Catechism is not enough. Knowing him with the mind is a step in the right direction, but in order to know Jesus, we need to enter into a dialogue with him by talking with him in prayer on our knees. If you don't pray, if you don't talk to Jesus, he said, you don't know him. The Pope in his reflection also speaks of a third way to know Jesus. It is by following him by going with him, by walking with him along the road of his ways. If you know Jesus with these three languages of mind, heart and action, then you can say that you know Jesus. Therefore, in order to truly know him, it is necessary to read what the church tells us about him, to speak with him in prayer and to walk along the path of his ways with him. This is the road and everyone has a decision to make.